Hey everyone, Dave here. In this video, we are putting two of the very best 4K HD webcams in a head-to-head -head battle to see which one performs better. And best of all, you'll get to vote which one actually performs better. Here's how it'll work. We have two webcams, the Logitech Brio, and we have the Jabra Panacast 20. Now we'll have on half of the screen, one of the cameras, and on the other half, the other one, they'll both be recorded at the same time, but you won't actually know which camera is which. And then at the end of the video, you'll have a chance to vote which one you think performed best, and that's when you'll find out which one actually won by the audience vote. Before we get to the ultimate blind webcam test, let's find out what makes these two webcams the best webcams for work. Both of the webcams have similar tech specs. You have 13 megapixel image processor, 4K resolution, 3X and 5X zoom. You also have different field of view options and you also have a detachable USB-C port on the back of the webcams. And they're both priced very affordably at $199. But of course, they're both available from our website, headsetadvisor.com. Make sure you use coupon code YouTube, all one word to save even more on these webcams. But there are a few differences between these webcams. They both have built-in microphones in case your computer or laptop have either no microphones built into it or they're very terrible. But the Logitech has two built-in mics and the Panacast 20 has three beamforming mics. The first thing I noticed about the design is the Jabra Panacast S20 is made from an all black aluminum material that makes it look sleek and modern and it is like substantial. It also has a built in shutter so that you can close off the view to the camera for your extra privacy. Whereas the Logitech has a little bit more plastic material and it has an attachment for the privacy shutter, which I happened to actually lose prior to making this video. I also like that they changed the shape of the webcam. They made it more narrow body, so when it sits on your display, it just looks sleeker and more narrow, whereas most other webcams, including the Logitech Brio, are wide body and just look a bit wider when on the display. Now, in regards to the way that they attach to the display, the Panacast 20 only has one hinge. It'll fit on most different size of displays, but the Logitech Brio actually has two hinges, so not only can it attach to almost any size display or TV, but it can also pivot down for a full 90 degree top down shot. So you can use that to show off particular products, uh, show off your writing or your notes, gives you a little bit more flexibility as the way that you can use the webcam, but both are able to be used on a tripod. So that can overcompensate for that different viewing angle. One of the biggest differences I noticed between the two webcams is that Jabra has AI powered technology built into the webcam. Both webcams can change their field of view from 90 degrees to 75 to 60, but the Jabra even goes down to 45 degree field of view at 5X zoom. And they have two technologies that they actually are powered with the Jabra webcam. The first feature is the intelligent zoom feature. This allows the webcam to utilize face tracking technology. Even when you're using a face mask, it's able to automatically zoom you into the right frame. This makes a more engaging video conferencing meeting. When people are far away, it's a bit less engaging. You can't really see them as well. So this allows you to really be in the right frame. You can even use it as a small huddle room camera to get a couple of people in the meeting Meeting and automatically zoom them into frame. The second AI powered technology is the picture in picture mode with the Jabra Panacast 20. This allows two full video feeds coming from the same webcam. So this could be useful like for showing off demos, maybe you want to show a small whiteboard. It allows you to have those two feeds in any software application. That could be Teams, could be Zoom, could be Google Meet. It doesn't matter. The AI powered technology is directly with the Jabra Panacast 20. Both webcams have free software you can download. The Logitune and the Jobber Direct software will have a link in the video description below. With this software, you can update the webcam so they're on the latest firmware and make sure they're working properly. And on top of that, you can adjust the zoom settings. You can change the white balance, uh, whether it's HDR mode, and also you can change the field of view. 
Now the couple of differences is with the Logi software, you have autofocus and you can change the filters. And with the Jabra, you have two preset zoom settings. You have those two additional features we talked about earlier, the picture in picture and the zoom tracking. And you have one additional 45 degree angle field of view for a more zoomed in view. And for those of you that are IT managers, you'd be happy to know that both webcams have IT asset management software. You have the Logi Sync and you have the Jobber Express. This is software so you can manage your entire employees webcams or headsets or video conferencing devices and allows you to update them, lock down the settings so that you can make it easier for the employees to utilize their equipment. Now that you have an idea of how these webcams are different, let's put them to the actual test where you get to vote which one performs better. After all of the tests, we will share the link to the poll that we have on our YouTube channel. So make sure that you check out the comment sections after you place your vote so you know which one performed the best. And this is what it looks like here. With this webcam, we have the lights on, we have the key light, and this is what it looks like with the studio behind us. This is what it can look like with the proper lighting. All right, this is what this webcam looks like in the conference room with all the normal lighting. With the window behind me here, this is what it looks like. All right, now this is what it looks like with this webcam with no lighting on in the background, no overhead light. This is what it looks like in the office with this webcam with stuff going on in the background with the lights. And this is what it looks like with this camera. This is what it looks like with this webcam in a normal office with good lighting. And we got our headset buddy in the background here. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like on this webcam outside. This is what it looks like on this gloomy day with all this out here. All right, now the power shifts to you. Go to headsetadvisor.com backslash showdown. This is gonna take you to our YouTube community page, which we have the poll. Vote for either camera A or camera B on which one you thought looked better. Now, place your votes before you check out the comment section, which we disclose which camera A and which camera B is each of these webcams. If you're looking for a webcam that's going to make you look professional, has 4K HD possibility, and that is also certified to work with Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and all the other leading work applications, you really can't go wrong with either one. And they're both priced under $200, but of course, if you shop on our website, headsetadvisor.com, make sure you use coupon code YouTube, all one word for an even deeper discount on either of these webcams. From a design standpoint, I prefer the Jabra Panacast 20 as it has the all black aluminum body construction design. Plus it has the built-in privacy shutter that's not gonna be able to be lost. And on top of that, it has great audio and video quality. And it even has those additional features, the picture in picture mode and the automatic zoom tracking technology. Plus, when you pair it up with a Jobber headset, it can be all managed remotely by your IT staff through that Jobber Express software. On the other hand, the Logitech Brio has that facial recognition technology built in that is compatible with Windows Hello. So if you wanna use it to access your Windows computer, then go with the Logitech Brio. Plus it has that extra 90 degree field of view if you wanna point the webcam down to give you more options to use the camera for a top down shot. We will have a link to both of these webcams in the video description below if you wanna learn more. Now, if you're looking for a wireless headset that would go great with one of these webcams, I'd highly recommend you check out the Jabra Evolve 2 wireless headset series. These are Bluetooth wireless headsets that connect to computers and also your smartphones that sound great for audio, but also sound great for video meetings and phone calls. Check out the comparison video that we've done on these headsets right over here. Think you'll enjoy that. Thanks a lot for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.